you need tack nails you can use um nail gun if you choose to you need hammer of course you need your picture printed on flex then you need your board you see i already from where they cut the board i already made um, an opening for where you hang it right then um for the picture it can be anything it can be a sticker it can be flex it can be canvas but for today i'm showing you how to make your photo frame with canvas with um flex so this is see where i'm touching it's a uh, more like a borderline like an extra that they put so when you're printing the flex you tell them that you need it to have extra space so that it can go to the back of your board when you're framing when you are folding it over it now i applied some gum allowed to dry and then fixed it it is optional i mean you don't need to use gum but i chose to apply a little gum here i'm trying to gauge it to get the borders properly so you just put it very well make sure that the picture is not overlapping and flowing to the back that's the reason for that extra white space that one covers it overlaps the back but another thing you can do is when they are printing the flex let them know that this is the size of my frame and this is the size of picture you should print like this frame now is 12 by 15 or 15 by 12 i don't know how they call it so the picture is exactly 15 by 12 where you can ask them to add a few centimeters or a few inches so that the background of the picture can flow to the back like i hope you understand what i'm saying so once you get that and you have applied your gum you just um tack it like this make sure you pull the flex over now this is flex like flex banner that you know is used for um billboards and time post and all of those things but then what you do is okay here carefully watch this is how to fold when you get to the edge get it in the middle bring this side down and then bring the other one down and nail properly just watch carefully so what you do is when you get get there to print any um web the print if you're in portal code go to diob and just ask them where they print banners and posters and all of those. so when you get to any place where they can print flex tell them that they should print your picture on the back side of the flex it comes out better on the back side instead of the front side if you are doing a regular write-up on all of those things it's okay for the front but if it's say you want to frame your pictures the back side of the flex gives it a better look and then um when you go to where they sell plywood in, in portaco just go to ilabuchi go to where they sell plywood this one is a finished plywood the surface is already clean and all when you get there you tell them what you want they give you maybe a full sheet or half half um plywood you take it to a session where it's been cut there are people in in, in elaborate they who cut wood they'll cut it for you into your preferred size as wide as you want it to be as small as you want it to be you cut into your preferred size and then also that opening i showed you at the back those same people will create the opening for you for where you hang it or even give you can buy hooks there to use to hang it so you see this extra space is getting up here i decided to put gum there to just let it slip so after the gum dried i just used my hand to press it down then cleaned off the excess you see how beautiful it is see see them hanging on my wall so if you so wish you can decide to use something else to cover the back of your frame to make it neater you know maybe a cardboard or anything Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Ask me in the comment section whatever question you have. And my next video, I'll show you other ways of framing.